Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Terrapins have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few W's, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. start of this game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Jenkins has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. Robinson takes it from the six. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. Dorsey's a guy that loves playing at home. He loves the big crowd. He loves the spotlight. He's got it right here. I, he does. I think, Brad, the one thing about this guy is the bigger the stage, the better he seems to play. He plays well on the road, but I think he just feels more comfortable when he's here in front of this crowd, and they seem to give him all that love, and he responds to it. Got it, and brought down immediately. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. And he's hit immediately. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. play and the defense was ready for it if this offense keeps running at this guy they're gonna have to rethink some of their play calling from their own 43 yard line second down and he's tackled after positive yardage true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that yes, he can. He fights forward to about the 43. That makes it second and eight. Pass incomplete. Torres was the intended receiver on the play. And here's another third down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Brought down to the 38 yard line. About five yards on the screen. Fourth down. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Taken down right around the 32-yard line. Oh, that was a big conversion. You could just see the other team's offense itching to get back on the field. Nice gain as he works the right side. That makes it second and six. Let's go! 
He scrambles. He's taken down around the 24-yard line. That's a gain of four on one play. That'll bring up third and two. Two times, two times. Laterals. They go to the left for a nice game. Run play and he'll lose yards. Loss of two on one play. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 22 yard line. It's second down. He's scrambling. Bumbo! He picks it up. Get off here. Get off. Get off. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. The Terrapins running back taken out earlier, sidelined with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. Makes it to the 34. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. From the 48-yard line, first down. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Knocked out of bounds around the 27-yard line. That'll make it second and four. He's tackled at the 15-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. From the 15-yard line. First down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And they push him out at the 2-yard line. That's a game of 13 on the play. That makes it first and goal. And he hits the PAT. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. We've got a 10-10 time. 
Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. At the 30. Brought down at the 35. Wisconsin's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. A long way yet to go, but at the end of one, so the Badgers with a touchdown lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. First down, Graham. That's a great tackle at the 48-yard line. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle around the 45-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Gets out to around the 32. Throws it out right to the running back. And they make the stop around the 28-yard line. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Free. The offense scoops it up. And he's level at the 40. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. it out. Can't connect. That makes it fourth and long. Johnson is hoping to boom this one down the field. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Wisconsin is up seven. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. At the 24-yard line. From their own 42 yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number three. Up the middle for a nice game. Cool, that's what I'm talking about, baby. That makes it second and six. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike. 
He's brought down in the open field. That's a game of 10 on the play. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Wisconsin is up a score. Fires out quick. It's picked off. Here's an opening. He's at the 30. Brought down with only one man to beat. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. From the 20 yard line, it's first down. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at the 10-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Got an opening. Brought down at the one. The Terrapins call a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he tackles him hard at the one-yard line. Defense stacked in tight here. And he just gets rid of it. So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down at the 37-yard line. Call the game at 11 yards. First down. Let's go deep. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Wisconsin is up by four. And he is drilled at the 49-yard line. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. get it to the tight end but it falls to the ground that's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there they need to get their signal straight second and ten ball on the 49 yard line he's got it out to his tight end he's taken down at the 41 a nice looking play that time well the defense was blitzing here and again great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver he's on the run he's on the run and he's tackled at the 23. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled around the 16-yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and two. Scrambling around. 
Now he's going to run and watch out. And that sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! Ready! 180! Check, check! Spider! He scrambled. And he sat. And that's the defensive end who was able to get him that time. It's pretty awesome when a freshman can work his way through the offensive line to get a sack like that. Tackle around the two-yard line. We played a half of football here. Wisconsin's up by four. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. He's tackled at the 33. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Wisconsin holds a four point lead. Makes it to the 35 yard line. From their own 35 yard line. Second down. The Terrapins saw one of their top players going down earlier. It looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 43. First down. It's second and five here. Ball on the 38. He's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. it out and it falls incomplete. Wow, Brad, you talk about having a strong arm. Next time, though, you might want to work on the accuracy. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 28. Call game 12 yards. First down. Wisconsin is up four. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes around the 23 yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he hits him hard at the eight. Gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. Roger, Roger. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Here we go. With high team. Right. Green, the ball carrier. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. That brings him second and goal. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the seven. So the Badgers running back 
sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up, trying to get back in the ball game. That's a great tackle at the four. That makes us third and goal. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's level at the two. Now player down, and his teammates obviously worried after that play. Fourth down, this isn't much more than an extra point. It's up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Jenkins gets set to kick this one away. So the Badgers had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Taken at the five. He's taken down at the 25. Fred, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, second down. As a man, he'll lose big yards. That's a loss of four yards. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. From their own 21-yard line, it's third down. out to the tailback on the screen and that was a really well played series by the defense and watch out they're going to bring the heat right here McDonald takes it at the 47, and he's tackled at the 46. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Wisconsin up seven points. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Lack of offense or great defense, call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. The Badgers in front, 10-3. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's hit and taken down. That makes it first and ten. From the 34-yard line, first down. Tackled after decent pickup. That's good for a game four yards. That brings him second and five. Makes it to the 28-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he's 
tackled after positive yardage. So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. He got seven, but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more. Good call. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Wisconsin is up by a touchdown. Touchdown, Wisconsin! converts the extra point. It was a seven-play, 46-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. Wisconsin's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it, when they take the field, they know they're better than you. And it's a group of 11. They play like they know they're going to stop you. So they're just about set to get the game going again. And he just gets rid of it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball in the 33. two-yard line. under three to go in regulation and a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds now he's scrambling brought down at the 32 yard line they move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. He heaves it to the end zone. Touchdown, Terps. impossible pass to defend and it goes for six yep the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time he splits the uprights with the extra point let's go to the studio for this reese davis update they are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. And for North Texas, they could drop their fourth in a row. The Horned Frogs are on top, 7-0. In other action, Texas State doing battle in San Mateo. The Miners go aerial to strike first and score a touchdown. And for Cox, he's fired a touchdown strike. The Miners are on top, 7-0, early in the first quarter. Touchdown difference, Reese, 17 to 10 here. Johnson is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Less than three minutes in the game.
bring him down at the 29. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 29. for his man incomplete terrific coverage and when you clog up passing lanes like that you could force a quarterback to make some poor decisions almost got themselves a turnover too third down nine to go ball on the 29 yard line going deep and he's tackled right away what a play. What a play is right. Here they throw the ball to the tight end, and the big guy shows that he's valuable not only as a blocker, but as a receiver as well. Nice catch. He's got the corner. He's at the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. First down. From the 26 yard line, it's first down. Inside the 10, and he's tackled around the one yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Under heavy pressure. And they got him. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. He gets hit out of bounds just outside the goal line. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. He's tackled at the one-yard line. Gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. He scrambled, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the play. And he stops the clock with a spike. It's third down and 13 to go. Ball on the 27. This is going to be a first down, and he's taken down around the 46-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. The spike will stop the clock. Makes it 
from their own 46-yard line. Second down. And they'll try one last pass here to pad the stats, but that's about all they're going to get right here. He's going to go for the home run. Can't connect. Maryland staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.